Yo, welcome back everybody. We're at the beach. Yes. One of the things to do coming out here to Busan. Oh, the lovely beach. We're at uh, Songdo Beach because behind me, you guys can see, we have the uh, cable cars. That's one of our first things we're going to be doing today. Going along the beach, checking out the ocean, the sweet view while riding these beautiful cable cars. But the, fan the view is fantastic and the weather is great. I feel so happy and blessed to be out here today. Uh, we're not going to be swimming today. I didn't bring anything to swim, but uh, I, did, I did want to show off the beach. There's a couple of different popular beaches. Haeundae is the number one most popular beach. Uh, there's also Gwangali Beach as well. Uh, but this is one of the beaches to come out to and have a great, fantastic time uh, and ride the cable car. Now the cable car, there are two types of cable car you can ride. There's the normal cable car where it's got the kind of just normal bottom. And then there's the crystal uh, cable car. I don't know if you might be able to see one or not, but the bottom is actually see-through, is the glass. So you can actually see the bottom uh, and see the ocean as you're riding above the ocean uh, all the way to the other side. Uh, unfortunately, we are not able to get the glass bottom one uh, because the waiting time is about two to three hours just to get in one. So we're going with the normal cable car. Uh, but should still provide for a great view and the bridge itself has some points where you can see the bottom uh, not made of glass but I'll show you in just a second you guys can see uh, that you can walk on this grate and walk above the water <laughs> I think this is way way scarier than just the glass bottom the glass, glass bottom shows off uh, it feels like you're still safe but with the grates, it feels like you can't really do too much. But I did want to show off a wide scope of Busan, one of Busan's lovely beaches and the beautiful area of Busan. The last few weeks we've been in Gyeongju and it's a more culturally involved area, but this place is just it's just relaxing and beautiful in a different way. And I love it way, 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 way. And I love it so much. We're just out here waiting for our turn to go on the cable car, but I hope you guys enjoyed the beautiful view of the beach. And uh, I'll, the next time I see you is uh, when we're up in the skies. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go. Woo! Woo! On this street. Nice. Nice. Let's say goodbye to everybody. I wonder if the door will close, though. They should just leave it open as like an extra challenge. Hey, don't fall out. So I was... Ah, automatic doors. I don't understand why is there a dinosaur? Oh, oh, oh. so fast. <laughs> wow. You guys can't really feel it, but this thing is going at like lightning speed. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. This is, this is real speed here. <laughs> so again, we have the normal, the normal bottom. Uh, but the other one has a crystal or a glass bottom so you can see the bottom but wow the view is actually really really cool and I was worried because it's a glass box in the air but they have some windows on top so uh, we can actually breathe while we're up here uh, so that's quite good wow. look at that view guys the view is so good this is definitely definitely a recommendation to do uh, when you're out here in Busan. Look how close they are. Ooh. <laughs> wow. wow. This is really, really cool. I wish I could have an aerial view. Wow. This is amazing. <sighs> Guys, make this a must do when you guys come to visit Busan. It's not like, it doesn't go mock speed or anything, but this is probably the fastest cable car I've ever been in. 
awe in my life. And over this beautiful ocean view as well. Let's see if I can get a nice view. There we go. Hell yeah. Look at that. We arrived at our area. And uh, as you can see, there's just this uh, nice little market that arrived for you, waiting for you when you arrive, where you can buy some coffee, some hot dog, take it back if you didn't buy it, take it back. It's a nice little resting area. And uh, over on this side too, there's a bridge you can go across that goes to uh, like a little rock island. So we're gonna go ahead and walk over there. But first we're gonna grab some coffee, grab something to eat and uh, enjoy our time over here. Welcome back to Jurassic Park. Halloween themed. We're still in the rest area for uh, where we had our snack and we're about to walk to the bridge, but I feel like Busan really likes dinosaurs. Two places we went to so far, the, uh, the mall and now here with T-Rex and everything. I don't know why. There's just a lot of dinosaur themed stuff, but it's very cool that they have one that's uh, automated with some uh, blood dripping down. They, it even has some pine cones in there, why? And some information about it too. Very cool. Very weird, but very cool. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go on our little brief walk to go to the, uh, to the bridge. So hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back guys. We are at the cloud suspension bridge, the Songdo suspension bridge over here. Uh, the suspension bridge is just uh, another one of the uh, most popular places to come visit when you come to Busan. We took the cable car, which you can see kind of eh, right over here somewhere. Yeah, they're right there. You can see the cable car going on over here. So this is a little park area that you can come in and take the cable car to. You can also access this park area by car or by foot. And we came down this kind of wide knee path down over here, down to this area where we're about to cross the bridge. Uh, there's not too much to do once you cross the bridge. It's just another uninhabited island that we can have access to and get to, which is, uh, should be pretty cool. But the suspension bridge itself looks uh, very, not very dodgy, but looks very fun to cross in my opinion. And uh, most uninhabited islands we can't have access to. So it's nice to be able to have one that we can get to. Uh, it is about 1,000 won, one dollar pretty much to gain access or entry. You can see over here, they have some blockade uh, so one dollar you go around take the seat sightseeing so I'm gonna show that off for you so in case it's not something you want to pay for at least you can see it here and uh, for yourself see whether it's uh, worth visiting so let's go in go on inside all right here we go guys we're going across the bridge the island itself looks actually quite pretty not very big but very cool to be able to go on this bridge and go across so Let's just go ahead and see what it's like. Oh, look at that, guys. All see-through, see-through grates with mesh wiring so you can actually see the bottom. That's actually very cool, little scary. Maybe for some people, it might be too scary for you to cross this bridge. So nice of them to have an extra little bridge on the bottom though, in case something happens. Oh, it feels so good to be out here, actually. The wind is so nice. <laughs> yeah. No selfie sticks on this bridge, by the way. They do tell you at the beginning if you're seen holding one. I'm just holding my phone with my hands uh, for this part uh, because they've had people kind of fall down, so. Maybe they've lost their phone or something, so they advise people to not put on a selfie stick. 
Wow. So you can see the bottom very clearly. <laughs> very cool. Wow. Is this scary for you guys? <laughs> oh, this bridge is actually pretty cool to cross. I, I wasn't expecting the bridge to be like, like free grading so you can actually see and step on it and see the bottom all that. Right with some magnificent views as well. All right, we're about to arrive at the island. So nice for them to have like this uh, direction for everyone to go. <laughs> everyone just naturally going right. But here we go. Cloud Bridge and the little island, Songdo Island. All right, we're just kind of wrapping up with the uh, bridge walk and the island walk. Uh, we're gonna go ahead back up to the mainland, maybe walk around the park a little bit more, and then we're gonna move on to our next destination. So hope you guys have been enjoying a few sites we've been showing off today with Busan and uh, look forward to more stuff later on. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, guys, we are at the top, the rooftop, the sky park where you can see the Little Prince. Uh, the Little Prince is very popular. In, uh, in Korea, if you guys don't know the story. But we're just above where we were earlier, uh, down there in the Jurassic Park. But yeah, you can come up to the third floor, come up to this very lovely area, where it's, and take a, take a load off, maybe have some coffee as well, and uh, walk around. If you have kids, again, probably really great. And there's a, it looks like there's a swing over there. Well, let's get a closer look, see what that's about. Hold on. It looks like they have this wall of pills or bottles. I wonder what this is about. Oh, it kind of looks like a time machine. You can write a message and then stuff it in the box. Oh, what is this? Some kind of VR swing. Oh. 
can get a nice view of the cable cars. Oh, mechanic swing. Oh, <laughs> that's actually really cool. So I wonder if the VR shows off like the real version or can you choose to opt out of VR to like see just the normal view? Very interesting, very cool. Also it looks very scary too. But yeah, this is just a little rooftop area that you can come and enjoy while you're at the park. Just gonna chill next to my buddy here and uh, let you guys know that uh, definitely come down to the Songdo Park. Definitely, definitely, definitely take the cable car up here. Make your way over here. It's so beautiful, so much fun. Uh, very, very cool place to come to. And I'll see you guys at our next, next destination. Yo, welcome back. We're taking a quick uh, kind of lunch, late lunch slash dinner break uh, at this wonderful restaurant where we're eating Mirmyeon. This is before we head to our next destination. So let me go ahead and show you what Mirmyeon is. Mirmyeon is this kind of cold noodle uh, that you get, once you get it, you kind of want to just cut it up and mix it around. Uh, you do also have provided some extra sauce, some extra kind of gochu mayo sauce, gochu sauce. Mix this all together. And then also you have this uh, guksu, the soup over here. As you can see, it's not water that you drink, it's a uh, broth. So that you can basically get a refillable broth uh, back over there, this big, uh, ooh, this big hot one over here. Uh, that's where you can refill and get some uh, more broth if you'd like. Just mix it up, mix it up. After mixing and trying and eating, they have provided more uh, water here for you that you can add if you want to kind of dilute the flavor a little bit and kind of keep the flavors going. So this is a very, very, very delicious uh, restaurant. And Mirmyeon is very famous in Busan. It's one of the top food things to do. So I hope you guys, you can see this. It looks so good. So, so, so nice. You can see this delicious Mirmyeon here. Take my first bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. We're so lucky that these days, even it's fall winter or fall weather, it's not very cold at all. It's actually pretty hot outside. So having this kind of cold dish right now is so perfect. Mmm. Mmm. There's also there's pieces of cucumber, a couple of pieces of pieces of beef nice good hard uh cooked boiled egg get some of that action in there mm. 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 it's so good of some of this broth as well very hot and warm broth Oh, it has such a rich flavor. Like broth that they give you is like, it's, you can tell that they boil chicken bones and stock for like hours. That gets this incredible flavor. Oh, and there are uh, many Mirmyeon restaurants you can go to. And the price is usually always very cheap, maybe around three to 5,000 won. So I definitely recommend when you come to Busan, grab yourself a nice cold bowl of Mirmyeon stuff so good welcome back everybody we're uh, recording at nighttime once again we are going to the Gangtong Shijang which is the Gangtong night market uh, located right off of uh, Jagarchi station exit 3 that's a Jagarchi exit uh, basically it's a straight shoot down this street uh, maybe I'll show this on our way back down but down this street you can see a lot of pocha uh, where they just these little stalls where you can people are just like eating food mostly seafood because we're in Busan uh, but drinking eating some seafood just out in the street and it's very cool but kind of maybe a culture shock for many people who aren't used to it but we're gonna go ahead and walk to the night market where we can find a lot of delicious foods drinks and all of that kind of like uh, when we went to Jeju as well but this is a very famous one in Busan 
Uh, also, you can come here during the day, uh, but it's not as popular as going at night. There may be one or two restaurants that are open, uh, but most people come at night to kind of get some more delicious food. Uh, one thing I'm very excited to get is the shiot hot dog. It's a hot dog is kind of like a uh, kind of kind of like a donut, but filled with some cinnamon and some pumpkin seeds and stuff like that. Oh, so 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 delicious, very nice. Uh, so look forward to that and uh, welcome to the market. Here we go. Kind of very similar to what we saw in Jeju, but more, a little more packed, a little more crowded, and a lot more, more, more delicious foods. <laughs> also, for many of you who don't know as well, uh, Busan is quite famous for its omu, or fish cake. There are several restaurants that make uh, handmade fish cake. And uh, because, again, Busan is close to the ocean, they make uh, some of the best, best seafood stuff. All right, so we finished walking down the street with all the delicious, delicious and delicious looking, smelling and looking and everything about it looks so good. Uh, down that street, that's kind of the main street. Behind me, as you can see, it's almost pretty much dead. It's just this main street here where you can see all those delicious things. Uh, wait in line, get some food and kind of walk over here and wait and sit and eat your food, drink, all of that. It's absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go back through and pick one or two items that we seem that we thought that are like, well, I want to eat that. I want to eat this. And then uh, I'll show that off for you guys in just a sec. So uh, wait very patiently. See you soon, guys. All right, we got two of our yummies here. We got the shiok hot dog over here and then the fried ice cream. 
which I think is a American staple, but I like it. It's so cute. It's got a little heart shape. So let me try the fried ice cream first before I get to the shiot hot dog. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's incredible. It's such a light fry. Like normally when you eat like deep fried ice cream, it like it feels so heavy, but this is like it almost like it's eating bread. Like it tastes like bread ice cream. That's actually really incredible. I wasn't expecting too much. Uh, now for the main in Busan, shiot hot dog or the seed hot dog is like the most famous. You can get hot dog anywhere in Korea, but this one is the most famous one. So let's dig in. Mm. 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 Oh. Oh, it's so nice. They come for the outside with pumpkin seeds. Or oh, actually, this one is uh, sunflower seeds. Inside, also seeds with some uh, brown sugar that then melts when it's uh, heated up and piled on with some more brown sugar. Mm. Really, absolutely incredible, guys. Make these two things must eat desserts when you come here to the night market. All right, that is everything in the night market that we're doing today because we're going to be eating some special uh, chicken for tonight's dinner. But uh, definitely, definitely come to the uh, Gyeongtong night market. Uh, sorry, the Gangtong night market uh, in Busan. It's not my night market's incredible, but this one has some amazing, amazing food. So, see you guys 